and I will never forget the day I met Bill Phillips. So I go up to the penthouse suite and I walk in and Bill Phillips and Cal Yee are sitting in there on a couch. And Bill Phillips, just no real introduction. He's a very focused, very, very driven man. He said, take your shirt off. So I said, okay, I take my shirt off and Cal Yee says, go stand in the sun right there. So I'm like, all right. So I take my shirt off and I go stand in the sun and they're like, whispering back and forth to each other. And uh, he says, uh, go ahead and, and, and take your pants off. I, I need to see your symmetry. And I'm like, okay, what did I get myself into here, you know? Because I heard all, the, heard all these stories about what could happen in the industry. But I trusted them. I knew it was nothing weird. Boom, I dropped my pants. They're having me spin in circles and they're really looking at me to the point where they said, let us see your teeth. And I was like, so they were looking at me as a commodity, as something that they could put on display. And that's really what they were going for. They were looking for a team of guys that could go out and represent this brand at trade shows and events. And, and that's what we did. So I was, to my knowledge, one of the first guys to get signed with a supplement deal with EAS and it blew up from there. He really realized that marketing was critical. So what he would actually do was he would fly in some of the top marketers in the world. So we were at EAS offices, he'd have Dan Kennedy in there, Joe Polish, Ted Nicholas, Anthony Robbins, and he would have all these people come in and teach them about marketing. You never heard this before from a supplement company bringing in these mainstream people who were just marketing at geniuses really, and authors and bestsellers. They would bring them in and give us the EAS you know, employees and Bill, uh, information about marketing. But what he had that was, that was a magic bullet was a magazine called Muscle Media. And initially it was Muscle Media 2000. And what that did back then for him was it was a mouthpiece. See, back in the day, without, you know, internet and without phones, we actually used this thing called magazines. And that was used to sell supplements. If you didn't have magazines, you could not sell supplements. TV, yes, but magazines were everything. Everybody that trained, their goal was to make it in a magazine, right? I remember me working at EAS when I first got there and I was competing in bodybuilding. My whole goal in my mind was, I gotta get in that magazine. I gotta be in muscle media, man. And the first time they put me in the magazine, oh, I told everybody, mama, we made it. And I would carry that magazine in my car and I would carry it everywhere. I'd show the guys at the gym, I'd be like, guys, look at that. I'm in, I mean, I eat the muscle media. I mean, you see that spread. So it was a proud moment for me, but that's what he did. He actually used the magazine to sell his products. And what he realized was the more you tell, the more you sell.